Let's jump in the waters and test out Poseidon. But first, I've just opened up a Discord server. Based on numerous requests from the viewers, it's linked in the comment and description box below. Come join me in there as we progress through Legend of Slime together, including any other games we play on this channel in the future. You're able to freely talk about any Legend of Slime related topics, from build help to progress updates, and of course any glitch related material. So be sure you're one of the first people to join our newly opened server, and depending on how fast we grow we will need moderators, so do stay active and we will be having our first discord related giveaway there soon. So join in, say hello and don't miss out. So we've gone ahead and purchased Poseidon, and I don't know about everyone else, but his slime skill is not sounding strong to me. The cooldown is already quite long at 13 seconds, and Miner's for comparison is on an 8 second cooldown. Poseidon's skill based damage is only 250%, with Frog and Fish allies amplifying that by another 100% per companion. It still doesn't hold up to Miner's 770% companion companion damage skill once you do reach that 10,000 mining depth, uh, especially when miners is on a lower cooldown. But anyways, let's go ahead and test Poseidon out. You never know, maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised. And do leave a comment if you do think he'll be one of our stronger slimes, or if he's going to sink to the bottom of our tier list. Now Poseidon's own effect bonuses are definitely a nice touch, providing 100% total attack and 50% critical hit damage. We started at around 337 AA damage prior to leveling up Poseidon, and now after all those promotions we're at 1.05 AB damage, finally breaking that AB barrier. This granted us a total of a 3 times boost, now if Poseidon has anything going for him, it's that beautiful animation as we jump into an enemy battle. The colors are vibrant and the animation is in a class of its own. We're going to test the stage boss at Kokaitis 3, stage 6-8. Using Poseidon and our regular top tier egg throw bird build, we landed the stage boss at 113 ADHP remaining. Now let's switch over to that exact build onto Gent. The stage boss was absolutely melted down in comparison, dropping the stage boss's health to 55.4 AD. And when we consider the stage boss's health starting at 173 AD, this would result in a 33% damage difference between the two slimes. Now I know what you're thinking, the comparison was obviously unfair because Poseidon needs frog and fish as our companions for him to properly scale his skill damage. Damage. Well, you do have a good point, so let's test that out. I'm going to adjust our build accordingly, putting on our frog and fish companions alongside modifications to our treasures and relics. We're also going to do the Lotus Macaroon swap with gold bread during the stage boss fight. If things haven't been patched, you're actually able to get the time boost from gold bread, and once you jump into a stage boss battle, you're then able to quickly swap it out with Lotus Macaroon as the stage boss battle starts, that way you get the effect from both treasures applying. Now that everything is set up, let's jump into the stage boss battle. We're going to quickly swap out our treasures for that damage boost, and it looks like we do close to no damage to the stage boss. Hardly a 1% dent to the boss's HP, which honestly isn't a surprise at all. Right now, the Sparrow figurine egg throw meta is far too strong. Nothing can honestly come close to it right right now. So switching to any other companion set other than birds will result in a huge damage loss. This is including losing Jen's 2 times damage multiplier, which still makes him our best slime to date. I do think Poseidon is going to go down in the ocean as one of our weaker SS slimes yet. Maybe there will be some crazy build out there in the future to make him viable, but based on our meta right now, I do doubt we will see any changes from from our gent egg throw combo. And judging from Poseidon's skill, 
there is a knockback involved, so we can't say that they are a completely useless slime, but beyond the potential usage in Slime Legion, their usefulness right now is quite low. At the very least, we were able to push to Kokaitis 3 Stage 8-5, so Poseidon did prove useful in that regard from all those promotion bonuses. Anyways, that was our brief overview of Poseidon. Things were pretty straightforward considering he wasn't a very tricky slime. Don't forget to join our newly opened Discord server. The links again are in the comment and description box below, and be sure to join Drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more Legend of Slime content just like this. Enjoy!